بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ کنٹینگ دا ٹاپک آف فور ایئر ٹرانسفارم فرسٹ آف آل دس آئی روڈ فروم دا پریویس ویڈیو دی فارورڈ فور ایئر ٹرانسفارم اور سمپل فور ایئر ٹرانسفارم فروم گوئنگ فروم دا ٹائم ڈومین ٹو دا فریکوینسی ڈومین اینڈ دین دی ان ورڈ فور ایئر ٹرانسفارم فار گوئنگ فروم دا فریکوینسی ڈومین ٹو دا ٹائم ڈومین دا کمبینیشن آف بوت از کال اے فور ایئر ٹرانسفارم پیئر right now uh, uh, let me you know go back a little and remind you that i wrote an equation a k is equal to 1 upon t uh, x of j k omega naught x of j k omega naught or this i could write in another way that a k is equal to 1 upon t x of j omega at omega is equal to k omega naught although i have touched it over there as well but let us go in a little more in a detail sort of what does this mean this definitely means that these are samples for a coefficient but these are samples and how do we say that these are samples and samples of course represent the discrete nature we know this from this particular thing that omega is integer value multiplied by omega naught omega is some integer multiple of the fundamental frequency so we are having these fourier coefficients so we mean that it appears that the fourier coefficients are samples of the fourier transform this is only what i wanted to say fourier coefficient are samples of fourier transform write this write this this is an important point fourier coefficients are samples of Fourier transform this is what I wanted to say in this video right how is this let's say we have a periodic signal okay say we have a periodic signal say and and I draw it the same signal that we previously took so let's say this is my x hat of t right this sort of uh, a, a signal we have okay this repeats over here this repeats over here this is t this is minus of t this is zero we can use the analysis equation to interpret uh, but let's say we use another method what do we have to do of course the fourier coefficients if for this particular periodic signal is unknown so for a periodic signal we can use the analysis equation simple is that but let's say i do it through another method and what is that other method the other method is that i take one period of the wave if this is t somewhere over here is t by 2 somewhere over here is negative t by 2 consider one period of the wave and let's say I consider the same negative t by 2 2 positive t by 2 I name it as x of t this is 0 this is let's say 1 whatever the amplitude is is that fine over here now now what do i have this x of t now this uh, that one is an a periodic signal right this one is an a periodic signal of course over here this x hat of t was a periodic signal you ask for Fourier coefficient we can do it through that way but let's say i'm doing it through this way so if this is an a periodic signal this means that the Fourier transform would exist for this Fourier transform would exist right and what is that Fourier transform that is x of j omega and that is equal to this particular thing isn't it like this it is 
Now what can I do is I can say I can take samples that I previously talked of. What did I said? I said over here. Everything was said over here. If I need to find the courier coefficients, finding Fourier series coefficient of x hat of t but using what using this relation using the Fourier transform and using the Fourier transform of the aperiodic signal and the aperiodic signal is the aperiodic nature the version of the periodic original signal so what do I have to do I have to just do this I have to take samples a that is my a k would be 1 upon t uh, no integration you would have simply x of j omega where omega would be k times omega naught you have the Fourier transform you simply put different values of omega the fundamental the second harmonic third harmonic you will keep on getting the uh, the, the Fourier coefficients the main thing that I would needed to say was that Fourier coefficients are samples of Fourier transform although we saw it in the previous video but I did not give it that sort of an important touch so therefore I said let's revise it again the basic topic for today is not this one our topic for today is the conversions of Fourier transform just like the conversions that we saw in the Fourier series also so let me give the heading uh, of what a subheading let's say again so convergence of continuous time Fourier transform okay so again a question as previously is it possible to represent all a periodic signals in terms of complex exponentials or the question is, is is it necessary that all a periodic signals would have what uh, would have a Fourier transform so not all not necessary all periodic signals have Fourier transform right let's say we, we discuss those conditions okay so let's say assume we assume that the Fourier transform x of j omega exists for a signal x of t it exists for a signal x of t right so what do I have is if this x of j omega is existing for any signal x of t so if this uh, let's say wait if, if, if this x of j omega is existing for any signal so let's say if I do it through the inverse Fourier transform relation so let's say I get a signal x hat of t now is it necessary this was a Fourier transform is it necessary that this x hat of t would be equal to the signal x of t which means that is it the accurate representation the accurate Fourier transform the accurate complex exponential representation of the original signal how do I know how do I know so we have some parameters again is x hat of t x hat of t a valid representation of x of t so how do we know this we know this from the error so the error would be what the error of the signal error signal e of t would be x of t minus x hat of t and how do we know that this would equal uh, this would be the same representation of, as x of t we define on the base of energy we decide on the base of energy because in the electrical engineering and signal in the system this energy basically is the quantization parameter we decide things on the basis of energy so we would be deciding this particular thing that is x of t is x of t a, is x hat of t a valid representation of x of t is x hat of t a valid representation of x of t so we decided on the base of energy and this means that the energy the condition is that the energy of 
e of t which is equal to uh, like this how do we calculate the energy like this e of t whole squared uh, negative infinity positive infinity this should be equal to zero this should be equal to zero if this is equal to zero this means that the signal converges to the original signal that is the basic definition e of t is what is the error signal error signal denotes what error signal says the difference between the original signal and the Fourier represented signal once again let me tell you that this is equal to zero converges means that the energy and the error signal is zero this does not mean that x of t and x hat of t are equal at each and every instant and there is different is zero no x of t x hat of t can have different values of the same value of time this error signal can have a value which means the difference can have a value but the energy in that error signal the energy in that difference signal would be equal to zero only then it would imply that this has converged to the original signal so now i write the conditions the conditions for Fourier transform to exist the first condition is again of course has a finite energy the first condition is of x of t if, if we are talking about the Fourier transform of x of t so this means x of t should have finite energy and finite energy means what that if you integrate it from negative infinity to infinity the absolute x of t whole squared dt this should be of course finite the second set of conditions the second is not a single condition it is a set of condition that is the Dirichlet's conditions the Dirichlet's condition the first condition in this Dirichlet's condition is of absolutely you check the spelling yourself it's wrong absolutely integrable which means what that if you have it from negative infinity to positive infinity the absolute of x of t dt this should be less than infinity now if you check out for the limits what have i written negative infinity to positive infinity in the Fourier series i took it over one period why because that was periodic these are aperiodic that's why this is from negative infinity to positive infinity absolutely integrable signal so absolutely integrable signals are energy signals right uh, then we have what i have written over here neither energy impulse related signals are also uh, you know uh, absolutely integrable impulse related signals fine then power signals are not absolutely integrable and similarly neither even uh, neither energy nor power signal they are also not absolutely integrable signals but the case is then you would say that this impulse related signals are also neither energy nor power signals so this is a special case that of neither energy nor power signal for which the Fourier transform uh, they are absolutely integrable so therefore the Fourier transform will exist so the Fourier transform which means exists for energy signals impulse related signals for neither energy or power it does not exist for power signals power signals are not absolutely integrable but again Fourier transform exists Fourier transform exists for this also Fourier transform exists for this also Fourier transform exists for this it does not exist the red uh, tells you about the the absolutely integrable and the blue tells you about the Fourier existence of Fourier transform so the power signal impulse rate signal this is a Fourier uh, this is a special case you could say fine the next is uh, x of t having finite number of maximas and minimas during any finite time interval the second is finite maximas and minimas 
and of course in any finite interval and the third is a finite number of discontinuities in any finite interval and again also each of discontinuity is finite so that is it that is everything we needed to know about this so some books you know refer to this as you know uh, this is a contradiction you know for power says for power signal they are not absolutely integrable but the Fourier transform exists right similarly impulse rated signals are neither energy nor power signals so neither energy nor power signal uh, are not absolutely integrable and also though do not have a Fourier transform but again you know impulse rated signals are neither energy nor power signal but they are absolutely integrable as well as they have a Fourier transform so some books say that these conditions are sufficient but not necessary these conditions, the Dirichlet's conditions are sufficient but not necessary. This is what some books say. Anyways, we don't have anything to do with that. We're not going to that sort of a detail. We would go with simple things. So we try to keep it simple. So, uh, that is it. That should be it. If, if, if you have any questions in mind, you can, you know, uh, ask definitely you can ask in the comment section Fourier transform is a mathematical tool used for frequency analysis of signals okay 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 so we've already discussed uh, for the reason that a periodic signal can be used a periodic signal with infinite period more precisely for the series is uh, period increase, fundamental period decrease, harmonic related component become closer in frequency. That word I used infinitesimal, infinitesimally small. So we saw that as we were increasing the time period, the four coefficients the, were coming close to each other. The gap was becoming smaller and smaller. So that was what that meant. As the period becomes infinite, the frequency components form a continuum, and that the Fourier sum becomes equal and integral. And you know. The shape of the envelope, although the shape of the envelope will be the same, okay, the envelope signal that I draw, the, the shape would be the same for any value of time period. It is, the book says over here, that it is independent, hmm, where is it, C continuous variable independent of the time period, okay. So I believe I finish it. I believe I finished this video over here. See you in the next video. With what? We start some examples, okay? So that is it, that is it. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do keep yourself safe from the coronavirus. Goodbye.